So for my birthday this year, I got an ice castle. Really? It doesn't have the Arctic package or anything like that. Um, there's no spray foam on the bottom. So uh, I, hopefully I'll be able to get that done this summer. But in the meantime, um, one of the things I wanted to do is at least insulate the hole covers. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So what you'll need is your hole cover, obviously. A sheet of paper, scratch paper, whatever. Um, a little piece of cardboard. A paper towel and charcoal because the charcoal is super messy. That's why you need the paper towel. Um, you can use like a pencil or something too. I just have charcoal, it would be easier to because it's flat. So, anyhow, just take your hole cover. In order to get this shape, obviously, um, you know, you, you need to make some sort of a template. You can't just try to stuff styrofoam in there because that's not going to work out very well. So, take your sheet of paper, lay it over you know, where you want to trace, kind of feel. And that gives you your shape. Scissors, you need scissors too. Cut on the inside of the lines. Okay, there. Just fits right down in there. And these should all be the same size, all the way around here. Yep. This will be a little bit of a, a different thing, you know, where the handle is and everything. You have to like. I don't know, stuff pieces or something in there. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that yet, but... And because I have to make so many of these pieces, I'm going to put it... That's what the cardboard is for. I'm going to make a cardboard template just so it's a little more durable and easy to trace onto the um, styrofoam. Probably the easiest way to do this is a snap knife. Mine's dull, so... Did you know these work like this? I just learned this. That little end? is the tool to break the blade off. So clever. Look at that. This is Kitty. She's super helpful. Pretty nice fit. Make sure this is clean. Um, mine's not clean, I have to go wash it, but um, make sure these are clean or your uh, adhesive probably won't stick all that great. This is the um, styrofoam that I'm going to use. This was just part of uh, some packaging at a uh, crate that I got, so it was just free materials. I figured I'd give it a shot to see if it'll help insulate my hole covers. I mean, for the price of free, you can't really go wrong. Try to share a line if I can, see how that works out. Save me the trouble of cutting so much. Start with those. your first cut shallow so you have a guide to <coughs> follow as you go along. Okay. 
there's this ridge here that might have to be um, I have to cut a groove for it, and I think the easiest way to do that would just be to push this and see if it makes an impression. Like that. Yep, makes an impression on there. And just, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, anyway, there's an impression on there. Just any way you can pick it out of. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so cover's all clean now. Here's how the piece looks. You can kind of see how deep that groove is. You just want it as deep as this, pretty much. So I'm using. E6000 adhesive. You can probably use uh, anything you want, really, Gorilla Glue or whatever your favorite stuff is. Um, I have pretty good luck with this stuff, so I'm going to give that a whirl. I'm not going to put a ton of it on. I'm not even sure if this is going to help anything or do anything or whatever. It's kind of an experiment, but I figured, you know, these hole covers, they feel so cold in the house all the time, and obviously I don't have them all open on the lake all the time, so... Um, I thought maybe this would kind of help insulate a little bit. Oh, I don't know if you can see this stuff on there. Stick it on there. And that's it. Do the rest of them. And uh, hopefully that will help keep some of the cold out.